there is a lot of stuff going on here. But I'm going to show you how this MacGyver hack uh, that prevents a guy from getting shocked in Season 5, I'm going to show you everything you need to know. It has to do with the difference between electric field and voltage, also known as change in electric potential. And so we use E for electric field and delta V for electric potential or voltage, uh, but you don't need to know that. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about this situation. So let's start off with an LED. So here is a, a simple LED. You can get these almost anywhere. Uh, one of the important things about them is that they don't require a lot of current to light up and they do have a positive side. If you look right here, the longer length is positive and the shorter side is negative. The easiest way to light these up, they take about 1.5, 1.6 volts, but these button cell batteries are perfect because they won't over uh, have too much current going through them. So that's the plus side and the minus side is the other side. So I'm just gonna take the plus side and put it right there. And there you go, I can hold it on there and it lights up the LED. And that's pretty cool, right? But I wanna light it up and treat this LED as though it's a person. So if the person gets too much uh, potential, the person would be shocked and light up. And that's what I'm gonna recreate from the MacGyver scene. So I have this, this is my LED person. And so here are the legs of the person and the, the head is LED and I'm pretty sure I put that as positive. Okay, so, and this is something you could probably build at home pretty easily, it's, it's fairly simple. But the key thing is that suppose that I have a downed power line and how do I not get shocked? It depends on electric field and electric potential or voltage. Let me show you one great analogy. So here is a person on a hill. There's two people on the hills. And you'll notice that they're at different heights, but the hill's at different slopes. It turns out that electric field is like the slope, the steepness of the hill, and the electric potential, the voltage, is like the height of the hill. Right, so up here, it's flat, but he's at a very high potential. Right here, he's not as high, but it's very steep. Okay, so which case would be more likely to get shocked? Actually, in this case, because the, the shocking is based on the voltage. Now, what if you had two feet? The further apart you put your feet, the greater the change in height, right? Even up here, you're probably okay, but the further apart you put your feet, the greater the change in height, the, more, the greater your voltage. And so that's why you wanna keep your feet close together or only have one foot in a situation where you could get shocked. So let's do this experiment. This is something that I, I take right here is a, a little tray of water. I added some salt. You want it to be a little conducting, so it'd probably work without salt. And then I have, and it's in a plastic tray, okay? It can't be a metal tray, it has to be plastic. And I just took some aluminum foil and tore off some strips and put them on the edges. And I'm gonna put one side at positive and one side at negative. And I have a nine volt battery. So let's connect this up. Um, and this should be as safe as you can get. So this is the positive side. I'm gonna put the positive side over here. I'm gonna clip that on and then clip that right here. And then the negative side Now you will notice it should bubble a little bit because you're actually uh, electrolyzing the water. You're actually making hydrogen oxygen. And I've done that in a previous uh, demo before, but that's that will work fine for us. Now I'm gonna take my analog person and this is the positive foot. I'm gonna put that on this side. The negative foot is on that side. And let's put the person in the water and see what happens. The light comes on. It's kind of dark. Let's see if I turn off the light. Oh, now it's really dark. There. I wish it was like partly dark, right? I can't find the light switch now. There we go. Okay, so what if I take the person, so in this case, I have electric fields going this way. What if I take the person and turn the person sideways, watch. The light's on as I turn the light's off. Let's do this. Let's make a brighter LED. I'm gonna stop using the battery. And I'm gonna use this power supply because I'm not getting enough current on this. So let's just, uh, the, the battery's nice for demonstrations, but here I have a power supply. 
and I'm going to put this and turn up the current. So it's at 9 volts still, but now I can get a higher current. Okay, so now I put this person in there, and the light comes on. As I turn the person, the light goes off. Now, if I put the person back the other way, the negative side would be uh, on on the it wouldn't light up the LED anyway. What if I put the what if I just put one foot in there? It doesn't light up. Two feet, it does light up. What if I put the feet close together? Okay, so let's bend these feet so they're very close together. I'm gonna hold them close together. Okay, now I'm gonna stick my feet in there close together. It doesn't light up. What if I put the feet far apart? It really lights up, see that? Okay, I should have started off with that. That's pretty cool. And then as I turn it sideways, it goes off. I think that's really cool. Okay, now for the MacGyver trick. In the episode, MacGyver says, hey dude, if you step on this metal thing, you won't get shocked. And we think, oh, metal is gonna get you shocked. But no, in fact, it won't, because here is my piece of metal. It's actually a magnet, and I stick it to the two feet. Now I'm going to put it in there, and it doesn't get shocked. Because what happens is there is an electric current going through the water, and that current, instead of going through the LED, goes through the metal bar. So these two are, like, at the same height of the hill because they're connected by the, the metal. This would be the same thing as putting your two feet together and touching your feet together, and it's not going to light up. Okay, so there you go. That's the same thing as the MacGyver trick. Electric potential versus electric field. Uh, and this is actually really cool because you can make other shapes. You could get a circular uh, pool of water with a positive in the middle and the whole thing around would be negative. Uh, and you could try looking at what cases does it light up. You could have a whole bunch of fun with this. And I think I might have some fun with this later too, but there you go.